Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to the channel if you're new and welcome back if you were already a subscriber. Today we are going to be doing a plan with me for the week of February 27th through March 5th. So what's also going to be kind of cool slash weird about this particular video is I have been writing down all the crap this week on a notepad because I was super behind on filming my March plan with me and <laughs> um, then I never really had time to catch up and film this. So we're going to take everything from my super crazy random notepads and we're going to put them into the pretty planner. Part of me was like, I'm about to just not even do this week, but there is a lot going on and I really want to be able to have it to look back and reflect on. So I'm kind of okay with going against the grain and my normal of, normally I just would skip the whole week, move the washi and be like, whatever. But there is a good bit of stuff that I want to document. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I wish I had had enough forethought to do this spread in blue, like this as well. I think it would have been really, really pretty. So that's food for thought for the next time I want to use that gorgeous washi. Um, I do tend to be super stingy with that washi only because I can no longer get it and I only have one roll of it. So there's that too. Um, but first things first, let's just start at... This is what we're going to start with. We're going to start with the sidebar so we can see all these lovely tasks that I'm going to guess most of them are going to end up on next week. So we're going to just do a slash because I did start doing that. I can actually zoom you in so that you guys can be with me a little bit closer. And so we're going to move quarter one videos, baking cabinet, all the crap. But I never do, oh my God. I did clean the apartment a good little bit. Still, I swear to God, it's gonna be her birthday by the time I send the damn thing. Um, I have one last Christmas present to get out. That's what that is, literally, I kid you not. I still haven't sent the damn thing. I'm the worst. That's actually wrong, but we're gonna mark it. <laughs> Okay, um, I did do all of my Disney bound challenges so we can at least do that. Migrate, migrate, all the shit. I didn't do way to feel bad. That's what we're doing. I'll get over it. Okay, I did do that thing. <laughs> so lovely, just completely lovely. Also, I'm not super thrilled with the fact that my little pin loops are getting super dirty so if anybody knows a way to clean these lovely planners um, or like spot clean them I'd be very intrigued to hear about it um <laughs> that's a side note all right so now we're gonna start at the top I just realized probably part of that was out of frame so I hope everyone did have a lovely week though okay so we're gonna do 55 73 Drizzle, who is drizzly, with clouds. Sometimes I go over and I know I say that all the time and I don't particularly care. Um, what I did was I started the day off with filming Thursday through Sunday of the week before. edit and post last week plan with me and that was the upload that actually came out this Sunday so that was really nice at least I'm pretty sure that's how that went so those were kind of my other um I would say those ended up being my planner activities. Another one was obviously like just updating all the planners because um, I was going to, I actually I did do the live stream on Wednesday morning um, and I did the February 
flip through then. Um, then, by that point, I was at work. I'm reading my thing, so bear with me. Let's get a cute little sticker. Like, kind of like a spring plan, planning type of situation. I was a little late on ordering the spring products. I mean, color me shocked. I'm always kind of late with the planner stuff like that. Let's see. Do the larger emoji. I don't really want to do the larger one, but I'm also trying to use these larger ones. And I do actually have space for once for him. I really don't like to use like the larger flakes like that. Okay. So I did my great. Tasks. So my workload's kind of gotten to the point where I actually have to migrate a lot of things every single day, which is really annoying. Um, I'm just going to put mail because I needed to check it and process it. Um, card list 2A. I'm not really writing this in a particular order, unfortunately. Um, I'm just kind of, like I said, trying to follow um, my list of what I did or like what clients I worked with for on. Um, but it's gotten to the point now with my task that I kind of have to look at the list every single day and be like, this is actually attainable. This has to move to here. Like I have to almost have a daily check-in. I'm trying to do better as well and like do it in the morning and do it in the evening right before I leave. So in the morning I look at the list and I say, okay, these are all the things that I would like to get done today. And then I kind of try to check in about like noon, one o'clock as I'm starting to like down tick for the day and start moving some stuff from there. And then at the very end of the day, I look at the, I have a bigger list that I can click over to that says upcoming and it'll show me what's on that day and what's upcoming. And then I can migrate even further to help myself out if I need to. Um, I do try to make Monday and Tuesday my most work heavy days. Um, lately, <laughs> it's been uh, really stressful. Um, and we are definitely understaffed for the workflow that we're currently operating on. And we are hoping to remedy that soon but I'm also not really sure that that's happening so it's a really crazy chaotic situation unfortunately um at the moment for everyone as you can see I got a ton done on Monday in the office um and then I was also dealing with some home maintenance drama which was definitely not ideal so I am going to do, see if I can find like a cute little house, like cleaning task maybe. Because there were some things going on in that realm. Um, I think it would be really pretty to use the blue. I don't get to use the blue thing very often. Um, sorry, I'm being like really awkwardly quiet. Um, I did do the dishes. I did recycle. I didn't put my trash out. I decided to move that. So there really was just those couple things going on that day. You know what I just realized? I don't have...
have water tracker bars on any of my March breads. None of them, absolutely none of them. So we're going to pop one in because that is definitely gonna be necessary. And we're also gonna add in swatches for what I was watching. And I did actually come home and power through a couple of things. Let me see how I wrote it. Okay. Let's do one thing at a time, she says to herself. So, oh, by the way, this is Tombow 133. And I'm going to use that to document shows, I think, would be a good one. And then I'm gonna use my absolute fave go-to pink to do my water tracker. Normally, I would not use a Tombow for this. I do wanna get some really pretty pastel Tombows to match, oh, we're going all over the place. Um, that's also why I don't use them. <laughs> Cause they do more of like that brush stroke, which I love, but. There's time and a place, I think. Um, and again, that is the 772. But um, I do want to get the pastel colors because I think they are going to be absolutely freaking beautiful. But um, I want them for a, for a Lucky Charm spread. Sorry, I cannot control the craziness that goes on on the highway. Can't do it. And then I'm going to do... I'll do nails and Evie bound. I did my Evie bound that night, which was crazy because I think I posted it later in the week. I'm gonna try to use some of the Disney emojis that I have to mark um, any Disney bound activity that I do, but We'll see what happens. I did get all my water in miraculously. I had another really kind of rougher weekend with that. I don't think I did a tarot or anything like that. So I think that is Monday all wrapped. Um, the only thing is what I watch and I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. I'm not gonna pop my food in because that seems a little silly and unnecessary. Um, so we're just going to skip over that. Um, now we would be doing, trying to look and see what all happened on the day. If I have the new weather, yes I do. I don't know what's with the sing song mode, but I'm kind of okay with it. Um, 53 and 78 and the sun actually came out. The weather was actually beautiful here all weekend. And that was after some really scary, like weird storm warnings and stuff on Friday. It was kind of gross. Um, so yeah, that was super weird. Um, I'm going to do dishes. And tidy which is kind of what I put at the top of almost every single day it's really redundant but I nine times out of ten always have dishes <laughs> and um, I always need to tidy up the apartment a little bit um, I'm gonna say reorganize fridge and freezer so there was like a whole situation so my fridge stopped working over the weekend like it was slowly dying basically something to do with like the defrost board I'm not a hundred percent certain and I'm not a licensed professional so please do not take my word for it anyway so I was at least smart enough on Monday morning to pack up a bunch of stuff and take it to the office so that I could at least protect some of the groceries that were in there. And then I moved everything to the bottom where it was actually cooling. And the cat's gonna wanna jump up here. Um, I'm gonna try to stop her the best I can. Um, 
but yeah, basically I had to reorganize the refrigerator so that everything was in the bottom and still staying cold and then they came to fix it. And then in the process, they did work on my freezer or check stuff in the freezer. So it was all disheveled from them defrosting and doing whatever they were doing in there. So it's complete chaos in my refrigerator by the time I got home, which was not my fault. Um, <laughs> full disclosure. So there was that, um, but it was fine. Um, and then I just played some reorganization with it and kept it moving. Um, at this point, I wanna jump over to work tasks and not catch the cat, but here we are. <laughs> so not gonna edit it out, don't really care. She's gonna do what she wants. So we're just gonna find a different sticker to document um some phone calls and stuff that i made did we have a wrap-up meeting that we didn't need to have that's also very common this soft yellow might be nice or i might stick with the blue still since again i don't get to play with blue very often i'm just gonna pop that right there so, confirm calls or T calls. This day I kept it super generic because there was a lot of calls. Um, there was a lot of, like I said, there was a lot of freaking phone calls to do. Um, so I really didn't get a lot of other activities handled, but I am gonna list those off. So, Degler, Ellie Field, Kennedy, and the event. I always struggle on any weeks where I'm kind of doing it backwards because it is my notes are always really really outlandishly sloppy like horrendous sloppy um and I really do feel bad about it um but it is what it is um so it is what it is I don't know what else to say about it um I did go ahead and do this spending log for February. I still have some wrap up from February left to do. If you can believe that it's the end of the first week and I'm still just struggling. Um, TCMC Coast. I did get that finally through and I did get my post prep my post prepped for the very next day, which we're going to talk about in a second. Um, then I'm going to do, oh, I'm sorry, kitty. That was a very poor swatch. I'm going to use a cooking sticker. Did cook for Jeff and I. It was not healthy. <laughs> I made lasagna. I feel like that the lasagna chef has like the whole get up. I don't know if you guys can hear her purring, but she's super loud. <laughs> I don't mind her sitting up here and I don't, actually y'all can't even see her. I don't think, 
y'all y'all can see like this slight shadow right here that's really funny i was like i wonder if they can even see <laughs> all right so we're gonna do this swatch down here too i don't know why i really stopped short there that's strange okay so we'll go ahead and back up a little bit while this dries and then we'll go straight down so backwards to go forwards and forwards to go back okay so i finished the Murdaw Murder. By the way, I can actually swatch over this, which is really great. So I'll probably extend this out just a touch. Um, I think that that's so cool about this pen. And this is the Uniball Sigma DX in point three eight. Um, I do really, really like that I can actually... Um, swatch over this that's really really nice and I haven't been able to do that in a really really long time because my Pilot G2 is very finicky um, and it will run and bleed and do all the things that I don't want it to do um then I was watching I did a lot of like charmed this week on some of the slower days not slower days that didn't come out as background noise because it was crazy so like I finished Murder on Mur Murders I think like over my lunch break and then I watched Pamela Love Story when I got home um I'm gonna say gorgeous afternoon stroll So I cooked lasagna. Um, the last of us. I do normally try to put whatever episode it is. Let's see if I can discern what that might have been. I think we were like a little bit behind. I don't know. I may not have been recording it. I'll have to go back and see what episode it was. Um, what was my water intake? I got all my water in. Awesome, me. And then I like slacked off the rest of the week. It's crazy. I think I always have like that push at the end of the month too, like right before the first where I'm like, oh my goodness, I mean, I have sucked all month. Let me try to check all the boxes that I can. I don't know if anybody else does that, but I definitely do that. Um, so anyways, in conclusion, my fridge is now fixed. Let's start there. <laughs> the fridge is fixed. Work is crazy. March plan with me is up. Um, also, we're going to talk about two things in the process of this lovely spread and why things have been a little extra chaotic this week. So, March is Disney is one of the hugest months in Disney bounding. They have, if you're not familiar with what that is, okay, so Disney bounding or bounding of any kind is when you dress like a character, but not in a costumey sense. So it may be a little, it may look a little odd, but the goal is that you would look similar to the character or the character's colors or accessories or something like that. So for example, for Ursula, you might do a purple sweater and then do like a really cute black overalls over or a really cool skirt um, that's black. And it, it would be something that you could wear out and about and people wouldn't be like, why are they in costume? That's the goal. And it was birthed out of the fact that people over the age of 14, I believe, cannot dress in costume at Disney. So this was the loophole that Disney fans figured out. Um, and so it's called Disney bounding and people do it at all kinds of parks and things. It's not just uh, limited <laughs> to, um, to Disney characters. So that being said, um, the Disney bound is the handle on Instagram and they hold the challenge and they are fan freaking tastic. I know how you, I know you guys can see her shadow. Okay. Sit down for me. If you're going to sit up here, you have to act like a big kid. Um, so 
It started on March 1st. I was smart enough to prep a little bit and it has helped me out, but it is still really funny because it's like, well, I've gotta get dressed anyway every day. So the question that just kind of comes into play is whether it's work appropriate or not. And so that's what I end up struggling with is yes, sometimes I can wear whatever it is, but sometimes I cannot. <laughs> um, so it has to be done before we are work, I can speak before work, after work, or on a weekend, or on a remote day, so it gets a little dicey. I also was the crazy person that was like, oh, I'm getting my hair done really close to March Disney Bound. I should try to do as many of the brunette style bounds as possible before I go blonde, and that was funny. So um, that certainly helped out. It is such a fun thing to do. And it is so full of positivity and just light and love. And it's so silly. It's absolutely the silliest, funnest, most creative thing in the whole world. And it definitely makes me happy. And so even though it is, you know, it's a little busy and it's, it's another thing to put on the plate that I really don't have time for. But in all honesty, playing dress up for, you know, a couple minutes a day and actually doing my hair and makeup and feeling really pretty and girly is something that I feel like you can't really put a price tag on. Um, for me, it's a little bit of self-care because sometimes I don't tend to get dressed up to go to the office if it's just going to be me or me and my boss, like we don't have clients kind of thing. Um, or if I'm going to be by myself entirely or if I'm going to be remote. So it's been a way to kind of get me out of that funk and just kind of take a break um, which I've enjoyed and it's something different. So there's that. So starting on Wednesday that kicked off. So that's one of the things that we're going to talk about is I am kind of devoted to the idea that whatever the bound is that day that I watch whatever it is. Sometimes I even watch it while I'm prepping. So when I did my Edna Mode bounds, I watched all the incredible movies. That was one of the harder bounds that I did, and I did it as a brunette. Um, it was just, I couldn't get a good picture. I kept cracking up at myself, like because I was trying to make like the serious Edna Mode faces, and it just was not going well. But um, on Wednesday, it was your favorite Disney character, and mine is Belle. Um, she was the first brunette princess I ever saw. Um, she liked to read. She was kind of a, she was more interested in the intellect of the, her prince or her suitor or her partner than um, what they looked like. Um, and I had a lot of respect for her taking her father's place as well. So I really love Belle and I love, it's funny because I don't wear a lot of blue or yellow, <laughs> but I do love both the colors. Um, so it was very lovely to do like a modern day kind of casual version of her leading up to, to it and um, kind of trying to recreate her ponytail was amusing. But um, I did choose to watch the live action Beauty and the Beast because I do quite love the live action version with Emma Watson in it. So I am going to get my I think I've like documented the sweet baby Jesus out of Bell. Like I just need like a whole sheet of Bell stickers. I only have like one left. I think I've used like all three. So we're gonna use, I know what I've used them for though. I think I used it to document the bound the day that I did it. And then I think I also did, um, I know I did one to mark when I reserved my uh, Bell's Castle um, reservation. Sorry, I couldn't speak. I'm going to I'm gonna put this here, I think. I don't really have one at the top yet. But I didn't do it at the beginning of the day either. I definitely did it like midday. Okay, she's gonna go at midday. I'm tired of overthinking it. Okay. And I'm just gonna do
I'm gonna do a swatch because it was watched throughout the day when I could. And why do I not have notes? This is really strange. There it is. Okay, I was like, where is my note for my run? Because that's really peculiar. Um, I will leave that to dry for a moment and do tidying tasks. So we have kitchen. I'm hoping we can see. Okay. Yes, I think so. Kitchen. Tidy. Apartment. Dishes. Always sweep. Litter box. There was a lot of tidying and cleaning because Jen was coming over that afternoon. So I just wanted to have everything together for that. Um, one thing that I didn't put on here, I'll put it down at the bottom. Um, I should have started with it. I just realized that. Um, hmm. I did my live stream at 7 a.m. that day. Again, this is what happens when you have super duper sloppy notes. So I'm just going to have to live with it. Um, I am going to... RT calls, RT tasks. I don't have a lot of specifics. <laughs> Banks is just making herself at home. Um, Posted it at 12. I'll do update planner. Film. Edit. I didn't really have to edit. And upload. That's like this one. I won't have to edit anything because I don't edit anything out when I just do with me when I just do stream of consciousness like this and I'm not stitching the days together I will get to finish this and then put it straight to the channel which is really nice um I'm gonna do pet smart I don't know why I did a slash because I definitely went um all kinds of little things are gonna be recorded um I'm gonna do Peyton, Parrish, Run. So Peyton Parrish is an artist that covers Disney songs, covers Viking songs, covers all kinds of songs. Um, he does have like kind of a niche there, but he had been working on an album. I think it's called The Most Magical Album or something like that. Um, if you look at Peyton Parrish, it's the most recent album and it sounds, the, whatever sounds most like the most magical, it should be like should come up like pretty quickly and it's going to be like this viking looking creature looking like he's like smashing uh through a castle basically super cool um the album is about 49 minutes and 12 seconds something like that and i needed to do a longer run um so i needed it to be over 30 minutes but i did not need it to be the seven mile run so i just decided that i was going to run to the peyton parish album because it was all Disney songs and in case you're wondering why I'm running in weird increments it's because I am training for Disney marathons right kitten mm -hmm. <laughs> I knew she would respond to me if I stopped and looked at her um but I decided that I would um just run it and see how far I could get I think I did like four and a half miles or something like that and my pace was really good it was like 
under 12 minutes, which was really awesome for that long of a time frame. So I was super happy with the run all together. Um, weren't you kidding? She's just looking at me with big giant golem eyes, not saying anything. Okay. Um, I also had a thermostat install that day. Um, thermostat install dinner with Jen at local republic. I love local republic. It is delicious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I didn't make it all the way through my water. I'm going to let that hang out and dry. Kitten, I need to move your little tiny haunches. All right, muffin. Okay. Thank you guys for letting my cat hang out. <laughs> I really don't feel like chasing her all over the apartment today. Let's see what Thursday held. Oh, Thursday was some doozy. So <laughs> Thursday, 57 in rain. Um, I'm already writing the wrong thing. I need one. Like I need some really good hold music occasionally. At least I didn't get super far in it. 57 and 68 in rain. Tuesday was like nasty, beautiful, like in the best way. Like it was so beautiful, it was nasty, and it freaking sucked that we couldn't go outside. Again, I'm really sorry for her big giant fanny in the way. Um I had intentions to film that morning and that did not happen. Um, I watched Raya and the Last Dragon. I don't know that I have any Raya. I have it on some washi, but I don't have it. Let's see if I have a Raya-esque dragon. I do not. She is like very blue and purple. That's okay. Um, I want to see if I have I have taco stuff that I can use for that evening. This day was super crazy. So <laughs> I know I keep saying that, but like there's all kinds of random days. Okay, so this should be dry now. So we're going to do beauty and the beast. Act for live action. And then Raya and the last dragon because day two was Disney dragons. So I did a Sisu prompt and it was one of the, um, Sorry, it was one of the few bounds that I actually did it on the day of, and I'm curious to see if that'll happen with anything else. Um, it could be really random, like if I get backed up or something like that, but the Sisu bound, that was stressful because I had not done it and I needed to do it that morning so that I could post it at noon. And then I'll do post at 12 and it was funny because we were like in lunch and I think I even posted it a little bit early. Um, I didn't 
prep. I would have done the line here. Prep Mushu and Ahsoka. Those are going to be coming out over the next couple of days. So I'm not really spoiling much of anything. Um, I'm trying not to spoil things. <laughs> Some of them I've already done, so it's not like way out of the way. Um, let's see. This one may not have like a ton of stickers. Like I may have, have to space some things out because I really don't have any stickers that represent some of the things were, that were going on. Um, yes, ma'am. Pictures at 11, 10 a.m. in Solani. Um, I could do, I could do like a lunch meeting, but we really didn't like meet that hard about stuff. Lunch meeting at 12 p.m. If readers, then we went, okay, now we're getting somewhere. I forgot that we went. RT calls, RT tasks, and tow cars. So Jen and I went to the Snellville office and worked for a little bit after lunch, and then we both headed back to our respective quarters. Uh, she was staying in a hotel, and I was obviously staying at my house, and then even though I was completely full of food, Jeff um, asked if I wanted to go to dinner and we ended up going to get Mexican. So I wanna see, I think I'll use like one of the bigger ones. I didn't really eat that much. I just kind of like nibbled. So I'll do little taco emoji Frida's I try to sing her Rita <laughs> and I had taquitos like I said, I wasn't super hungry, so I just got a sangria Rita, which is sangria and a margarita mixed, and um, ate some taquitos and chips and salsa. Like, it was so low-key. It was so funny. Um, <laughs> like I said, it was just bizarre. So, Friday was a little bit um, better. Um, lots of work and I really, I felt like Wednesday I got like nothing accomplished and then Friday was kind of like an opposite situation. I do feel like I was a little bit better with productivity and I was really frustrated admittedly because, um, there was a lot going on in my to-do list because of the fact that I, Wednesday was like a spacey day. Thursday we were basically out of office all day and then Friday, April was which is my boss, she was gone. So um, she was on her way to Florida. So everything was a little bizarre, um, like in terms of getting a hold of her and tasks. And it was kind of like hit or miss. It was all really, really strange. Um, so the first thing I want to do is get out a run sticker. Normally... I actually might not. Can I do that? I'm just going to do it. Uh, usually I only put a sticker down for one run a week. I'm trying to use the other rows. I'll do this little dude.
30 minute run. Tidy the apartment as always. <laughs> kitty box and meal plan were all kind of household type of things obviously not the run but I just kind of group all those little things together um, then I'm gonna get a kind of work from home Of sticker. Oh, again, I can use the pretty blue because I never get to use these blues. And he's kind of big like that one, so it'll kind of balance. Right, kitten? They're, I don't know what, catering, order. I love when I draw a slash and it's like, nope, you actually completed that. You can, you can complete that, it's fine. Um, we'll put the tacos back for now. Oh, and I did get a really lovely surprise that my um, Ostera box had arrived a day early. Um, Ritual, planner, austere box. And I'll do some hearts because that was exciting. Um, okay, so catering order, Belcher and his crazy self. <laughs> um, Alliance. I'm going to do allocations because I started, but I didn't get them all the way into Red Tail Clear Spring. Called Vim for Kitty. RT tasks. Okay, so in other news, I started working on a master list. I did a Mushu Bound. I'm not worried about the fact that I'm going all into Saturday because we spent it driving all over Hills Half Acre. So, um, I think I'm going to do my super cute little, um, markers. I think that's just going to be a Saturday thing now. That, that's like a, a jam I can get behind. Um, I did my Ahsoka Bound. Um, and I posted post max at 12 p.m. And I watched Stranger Things. Uh, the prompt was Stranger Things uh, meets Disney. And I totally didn't understand that. I just thought I could do a Stranger Things 
one and people did like really cool mashups so I was like this is the first year that I'm doing it I've done Disney bounding with pride before which is only one week and it's just the colors of the rainbow and I did it while I was doing series so I did prep a little bit but it wasn't like that hard it wasn't a whole month and it wasn't as in-depth with like the thinking cap on situation so I did feel really stupid <laughs> after the fact um but it was okay um so this is dry I did stranger things season one I did get into, I'm going to do Anne season two because I did watch like a couple episodes, but I didn't get very far because, and I just had it running in the background. I wasn't like sitting and actively watching. Um, so there was that. I did have a lot of other stuff that I wanted to do that day that just did not come to fruition. So I'm not going to like bother doing too too much of that since I already have some of these like little hanging out ones um I wish that I had like done some of the gold dots oh maybe that's what we do we do gold now here's me having all the ideas let's I did a lot of like bill pay and budgeting type of things. That day. Sorry, I was like looking at that way too hard. Um, here's my Saturday. So we're going to do Planners. posted my Evie bound. So day four was chilling like a villain. If you've ever watched any of the descendants, then you know, if you don't, <laughs> um, basically like they do sing a song in the second descendants, chilling like a villain. And, um, Evie pretty much sings the whole thing. Well, like kicks it off. And I love Evie because she's like the fashion-y gal and she's the crafty one and she's not like the main, she's like the sidekick and I love her color palette and I had the perfect mug for the bound. I had the evil witch mug. She is the evil queen star. So, um, too much information. Um, so I thought that would be a really cute one. So I watched Descendants 1 and 2. Well, I got ready. I think I didn't quite finish the second one. I'm I'm being a little bit forgiving with the watching situation because some rolled over. Like I finished Beauty and the Beast before I started Raya. I split Raya between the morning and the evening. I just kind of want to have an idea of maybe what I was watching and I know it's going to be in correspondence to the bound itself. Um, then we're going to use... Tombow 993 to do our little geotags. CFA and drive. Okay. 
Okay, so we drove to Mike's house. And I could technically use my super cute little fishing emojis that I have not been able to use yet. Um, Fort Yargo. I hope I'm spelling that right. Um, but can I do that? Is that going to be like, let's see how cluttered this might look. And I did not fish, so I feel like kind of awkward documenting fishing. Let's see. Oh no, he's cute there. We're just gonna pop a little fishy. Yeah. Fishing, picnics, and struggles, and swings. I got to swing, which was really nice. Um, <laughs> like, I've just felt like a little kid and I enjoyed it. Um, I'm not going to do the dotted lines for all of them. I don't feel like it's necessary. Um, okay, I'm going to do this. Uh, then we went to... I need to look this up. Bear with me just a hot second. Yes. <laughs> I wanted to make sure it was called the right thing because Jeff and I were having a little bit of debacle about this. I'm glad I used the taco over there now because I got to use my little fishy one here. Send your tequila. way past my bedtime. I'm figuring that out now. I'm also wondering how long. Okay, this is not taking me near as long as I thought it was going to. So this is kind of on par with how long it would normally take. Scoops. Yes, ma'am. And I, I knew when I was like drawing everything or like mapping everything out roughly, I 110% knew that I wanted to use like an exhausted emoji. I was like this emoji probably the whole time. Um, panic, stress, anxiety. I was all the feels. So... Just because it was just, it was a lot going on that day. We're actually going to do the panic. I'm going to use the panic stress anxiety because I don't ever get to use that one either. And I can. And 
I was so happy to get, I think I, I think we all literally fell asleep within like 10 seconds of hitting the bed. <laughs> like, oh my God. It was a freaking, it was a day. We babies. Okay. I'll preface this while I try to move this sticker carefully for the fat thousandth time. Oh no. She said carefully and she failed. Okay. Lord have mercy. Bear with me while I fix this little miniature tragedy that no one cares about but me. I'm gonna end up having to put some light glue back there. Wasn't even worth it because that's still showing. Um, but basically we were babysitting for the day. Um, we were babysitting Jeff's nephew and we took them to his best friend's house um and he has two little girls and they all get along swimmingly and so they're like yeah everybody's gonna hang out and play and it's all gonna be great and wonderful and lovely and it was chaos and madness and little people and um <laughs> it was wild it was so wild um I did do my tarot that day <laughs> Um, I got the Eight of Elixirs, um, which was at per usual, spot on, and I am dealing with that. Um, it's just a tricky situation to be in. I know that um, I need to deal with the situation, and that's all I can do. <laughs> um, Unfortunately, I just kind of have to like plot course of action. And I'm looking something up, so hold on. I had forgotten how to. And I still think I missed up the watch. Nope, I actually spelled it right. Um, I had a rose quartz and an amethyst in my pocket and had them, I didn't really have anything on me today, so there's that. Um, but yeah, there's just, I'm kind of bummed because I feel like I'm coming to the end of a chapter in my life and even though I'm really excited about new beginnings and all of that, I'm also <sighs> really stressed out with the thought of that chapter coming to a close and that makes me sad so I am trying to let myself feel all the feels and the thanks and deal with them as they come and be really patient with myself and I'm hoping everything's in frame um I don't have weather 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 for today and yesterday so I'll pop that in whenever we get off um but yeah I just I don't know I'm bummed at the situation coming to an end. I am excited about opportunities that might come. I am trying to be optimistic that maybe this situation won't have to come to an end. All the things, all the feels, all the stress, it is what it is. Um, but the Eight of Elixirs per use was uh, telling me what I need to know. So naturally, we had to watch some Looney Tunes season one this morning just to get the weekend rolling. <laughs> Um, and it was really great because Owen was pretty exhausted. And so he was very, um, amicable with just chilling on the couch. Um, then we, I tidied the bungalow. I did some meal planning. I'm trying to watch. I'm going to try to do this whole day in order versus the hodgepodge. Normally, like you see, like I group things. So it's like planner, work, home, home, work, planner. Like it, it'll repeat <laughs> like that or it'll be like hobby type of things are in a group. So um, maybe I will just go ahead and... 
chart some things out. Let's see if I've got, I already know I have a cute um, shopping. Oh, I have all the shopping things. Actually, I'm glad I stopped myself because I do need to do a marker for the seventh anniversary sale. And I don't think I'm gonna have the room that I thought I was going to for it. I might be able to fit that in. It's a 50-50 shot. Let's see if I have a different... And the reason I'm using the March is because Lucky Charms was like the theme. I'm gonna fit this in. I'm gonna make it fit. It's just gonna have to be what it'll be. C and C. I don't like how sloppy that is. But I thought it was at noon <laughs> and it definitely one, two, three was like way down here, but I'm going to put it in the noon spot because it was new in her time, I guess. And mainly more like it fits there. And I did prep prior to. trying to make this kind of somewhat even so it goes off of both sides. I don't know that I love that spacing, but 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so that I would know. Um, so I'm going to do Kroger right under that. I never really did finish meal planning. I just went ahead and went, um, which probably wasn't the best idea, truthfully. Um, so there's that. Um, I had my 30 minute run. Things are going to be spaced out a little funny. I did migrate some tasks. Film. Um, post. This week. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and mark it off because as soon as I'm done, I'm going to just go ahead and post it. I do feel like the colors mix in, so it's fine. I just wish the spacing would have looked a little bit better, like that I would have spaced that word out a little bit better. And I don't want to add anything else to that to clean it up. Um, again, there were some things that I had hoped to do today that are not going to happen because it's about 9.30 at night and I need to go to bed. Um, I was hoping to do some bounds and to film the Ostera video, um, but that didn't happen. I did get my nails done. <laughs> I did paint them, um, is what I meant. Um, and I did not cook anything after all, and I had plans to cook things. So that is almost finished. I really do love the colors. 
Um, I'm gonna do Star Wars up to post. Post Padme. Am I just putting the person? Yeah. Post Padme. Button. I think I did post it like right around noon. Okay. And yeah, that's it. That's like the whole show. <laughs> I am going to head, like I said, I'm going to upload this and I'm going to zoom out for you guys so that we can do this and I will get to filming tomorrow morning so that we don't have this happen again. Um, <laughs> it is kind of entertaining to be able to do it in like a whole go with you guys um, and look back on the week and just kind of do it from a uh, documenting standpoint and a memory keeping standpoint. But as I have said many, many, many times, I am a functional planner. So it isn't lovely when I don't get to whoo, play in my actual planner, but um, I'm looking forward to another plan with me with you guys. Um, this upload is going to be for the 12th. So I'll have done a whole new week of Disney Bounds and we'll have had a whole new live stream. So that's what I didn't put on here. Live stream at 7 a.m. Feb flip through. Normally I would not continue writing or do an arrow like that, but I don't want to forget that I did do that that day. So I'm kind of okay. And I've written down here too, so it's all fine. All gravy. Um, but as I was saying, live streams are going to be at six o'clock on Wednesday evenings and that's Eastern Standard Time. The only reason I had to do a different time was because I had dinner plans with Jen that were already made and she was only here for those two days. So I really didn't have a lot of room and I knew we were having a big lunch as a group on Thursday. So it didn't make sense to try to have dinner with her that night. I wanted to make sure we could eat and enjoy it. So that is the week of Mar of February 27th through March 5th. Um, I look forward to coming up live streams with you guys. And as I've said before, if you guys have any suggestions for videos, both live stream and just upload sense, let me know. Also, you can go ahead and view last week's live stream or any of the live streams that have already happened. Those upload about 24 hours after I've filmed them. So if you wonder why there might be a delay, but I hope to catch you on there and make sure to say hi. And I love to chat with you guys. So bring your wine, bring your crafty things, bring your planners, bring your questions. I look forward to seeing you guys there. And in between now and then, enjoy creating your own little wonderlands. Bye, everybody. Oh, and if you're participating in the Disney Bound Challenge, let me know so I can follow you too. Okay, bye.